Hi friends, let's talk about chemical peels. Chemical peels are being used for a very long time and are still being used because they are one of the most loved treatments by dermatologists. So how does chemical peel work? Chemical peels penetrate inside the skin and increase the epidermal cell turnover. They help to unclog the pores and they also penetrate a little inside the dermis and help in tissue remodeling. They improve the collagen and elastin levels and they also improve the hydration levels of the skin. So they help you to achieve a clearer, smoother, plumper and more hydrated skin. So what are the skin issues that chemical peels can help with? Chemical peels can help with a variety of skin issues like acne, mild acne scars, uneven skin tone, fine lines, open pores, then pigmentation like melasma, freckles. These all improve with chemical peels. Chemical peels also help to give a glow and they are generally used for rejuvenation also. Even if you do not have any kind of apparent skin issues, you can still go for a refreshed look after getting a chemical peel done. So what are the different peeling agents that we use in our clinic? We have a wide variety of peeling agents in our clinic, like we use salicylic acid peel or dark peel for acne, and uh, we use glycolic peel or yellow peel for photo aging. Um, then we use TCA peel or a phenol peel for pigmentation. Then we use a mango peel or a pumpkin peel for skin rejuvenation. Then we can use a lactic peel or a ferulic peel or a vitamin C peel for uh, just giving you a glow before a party. So there are a variety of peels that we have in our clinic. Another important question is, how many sessions are required? Well, if you are going for just a glow, you can just take one session of chemical peel. But if you have indications like pigmentation, acne, fine lines, uh, signs of aging, then definitely a series of five to six sessions would be required. What is the gap between two sessions of chemical peels? That depends on the agent that we are using. Uh, for salicylic acid peels in acne, we can repeat the session even after a week. But for strong peels like yellow peel, we prefer to keep a gap of three to four weeks between the two sessions. Does our skin require any kind of special care after chemical peels? Yes, definitely. Uh, after getting a chemical peel treatment done, your skin would become more sensitive to sun-induced pigmentation. So you have to be very careful about sun protection. You have to use your sunscreen every two to three hours. You have to use extra sun protection measures when you're outside, like uh, umbrella, sunglasses, broad brimmed hat. If you are getting it done over your body, then preferably wear covered clothing. And uh, apart from sunscreen, you should use mild cleansers um, and uh, you should always use a moisturizer two to three times on the part which we have done chemical peels on. Can we do chemical peels at home? You can do chemical peels at home, um, but I would not suggest that because there are certain endpoints that we monitor when we are doing your chemical peels that you may not come to know if you are doing that treatment at home. And there are certain guidance that we give you when you are getting a chemical peel treatment done that you might not realize on your own. And rather than getting help from your chemical peel, your skin might be actually getting damaged. So chemical peels are a safe treatment, but only when you are getting it done under the guidance of a dermatologist. What are the side effects of a chemical peel treatment? Well, the most important side effect that a chemical peel treatment can lead to is hyperpigmentation or persistent erythema. These side effects are more common if you are not compliant with the post-care instructions. Like after getting the treatment done, you are not taking care of sun protection and you are not using your moisturizers properly or you are very harsh with that part, then you can get such side effects.